Welcome to Demo Day, where young innovators take the stage and showcase real-world projects to a global audience. At Weequal School, students learn to become innovators, teaching each other each week through their creations. Weequal App has thousands of novel and useful projects born out of our students' strengths, interests, and passions. But Demo Day is more than just a presentation. It's a celebration of innovation, collaboration, and the power of young minds. Join us on this incredible journey of inspiration as we witness the the next generation of problem solvers and leaders. From Harvard professors to industry experts, our demo days attract incredible guest speakers who share their knowledge and ignite curiosity. Whether you're a young innovator looking to showcase your creations or a family seeking an extraordinary learning experience, Demo Day is here for you. Together, let's create a world where young minds flourish, ideas come to life, and innovation knows no boundaries. Join us for an unforgettable journey of learning, growth, and discovery. Welcome to Demo Day. So um, today I'm going to be presenting my project on forms of communication, um, the power of music. So there are a lot of different forms of communication, all of which um, can be used in different circumstances and have their benefits and weaknesses. Um, and so I will be talking about the big ones. I might miss out on a few, um, but I'm just going to be talking about the big ones like writing, um, speaking, and um, visual representations. And I'm, but the main focus is going to be on music. Um, so first of all, the importance of learning different forms of communication. Um, so how is this relevant to me, right? Why am I listening to this presentation about different forms of communication? Um, well, a lot of reasons. Um, the main one that I talk about here is that using multiple, being able to use multiple different forms of communication is gives you a ton of freedom with how, um, and makes things more efficient. Um, for example, um, I am presenting this article right now. I am talking about this article, but I can't talk about this article to every single person in the world. So writing, which is another form of communication, can be very, very helpful because it can scale, whereas talk talking cannot. Um, so this can go for obvious examples like visual representations like pictures, um, body language, and stuff like that. So next is the different forms of communication. Um, <laughs> so the most um, prevalent form of communication because we use it every day, all the time, for all different things from trying to create communicate something really depth and important to just having um, like chit chat about the weather. Um, and so you, it's, um, so it can, yeah. The only, one of the weaknesses of this, however, is that it's not scalable, like I said, um, unless you record your talking in some way. So second is writing. Um, so writing can vary a lot from simple text messages to full on essays like this one. Um, so writing is all around us um, and so since it can vary a lot, the difficulty of it can vary a lot. Um, and so probably one of the weaknesses of this is that it's kind of hard to learn. So it's not exactly very natural to learn how to um, write certain things depending on the format. Um, and so, however, like I said, it can scale and it's basically structured thinking. So it is essential to learn. Um, so third is body language. Um, body language can speak a lot about your emotions, <laughs> sometimes um, more than you want it to. Um, so it is um, 
it is a big part in how um and in making human communications like face to face sometimes um like with videos or in person um really really engaging and interactive um and so one thing that the COVID-19 pandemic brought into light is that if your video's off and you're on a camera, you miss out on a ton of that. Um, so it is important. Fourth is visual communication. Um, and so this is just pretty obvious. It's just um, visual representations of things like pictures, charts, diagrams. Um, and so, Obviously, this is very good at conveying something visual, but it's but usually if you're trying to have a main point or a main meaning, you have to add something else, some other communication to go along with it, like talking or writing. And so last but not least, the big finish is music. And so music is very complex. It's probably, I found this to be the most interesting form of communication because it does such a great job of conveying and changing your emotions. And so like, what better thing to do to boost your mood than to listen to an uplifting song? And there are a ton of different examples, like a scary movie is never complete without some spooky music in the background. Um, if you need more persuading, I have two YouTube links to two different little songs, little jingles, and you can listen to them and just watch how they change your mood. So it is really amazing how just a simple melody can like give you an urge to bounce off your chair, dance around the room and sing, start singing your heart out. And so I think it is really never underestimate the power of music because it can have a really, um, it can have a really amazing change um, to your mood and to your life. Um, and just creating music and um, listening to music is very, very natural for humans in general. So in conclusion, um, this article puts into light um, how important um, learning how to use different communications, sometimes easier, sometimes harder, um, and how music specifically is very complex and interesting and really amazing at communicating emotions. So, um, I am planning to put in more about when to use these um, forms of communication specifically, um, but I hope you found this presentation both fun and helpful. That was awesome. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. I have a feedback sandwich <laughs> or Audie, you can go ahead, go ahead with your feedback sandwich or whatever you want to say. All right. I think you're having a bit of echoing, but um, yeah, I thought that was an amazing topic and a very engaging presentation. And, um, and I just, re I really liked how you structured the article, talked about different forms of communication as well as like, how they can have different impacts on us. And one thing that I thought would be interesting is kind of thinking about like, what are some qualitative differences between these forms of communication in terms of like a lot of body language can be subconscious and not necessarily like intentional communication with that. And then there's also kind of like, if you hear someone a song, it might like kind of like touch on something that you weren't aware of yourself um and it's kind of like helping you to discover what you even want what you're what you're even thinking what you're feeling what you want to communicate and how these can kind of like also like writing is structured thinking where a lot of the time you don't necessarily know what you even want to communicate what you want to say until you write it down and really structure it out and kind of how these can play into different like um 
what you want to actually communicate and how you want to use it in different scenarios. Um, but yeah, other than that, I thought it was definitely a very good presentation, very good project. And uh, I'm looking forward to hearing those YouTube videos because I haven't listened to them yet, but I thought it was cool how you included You've something. listened to a bit of one of them. That was right. my math bop. Oh, your new math bop. All right. But you haven't heard the other one. It okay. Was one really sad um, mm. song and then one really happy, bouncy, peppy song. And nice. So <laughs> I just wanted to demonstrate. But yeah, um, you also like mentioned that during the um demo day prep, and I'm I didn't have enough time to implement all that I wanted to put in. Um, but I'm really excited for putting in that other stuff because that would make it more useful rather than no. Yeah. I, <laughs> I I'd like to kind of build on that too. Sure, yeah. So the topic's so critical um that I, I do think it's worth trying to beef it up even more and i'm oh. happy to help with that including math and like programming as yeah forms of communication. math and programming are forms of, like math is a language like if i yeah if somebody had oh i forgot them, about math how could you <laughs> um, completely forgot about math if oh. somebody had had explained that to me earlier then um that would have really helped me a lot uh, I ended up using math in my career like that. It was like me and then like a bunch of Indian and Chinese people, basically. I was like the one flaunt. Um, but I came into it later and and I didn't have, I wasn't as good as I could have been. Um, but I, I ended up having a, a lot of strength in that space because uh, I understood what the purpose of math was um that really helped so so adding that and then also like little clips like there's this one clip from uh, jordan peterson was asked at some university by a guy like how can i make myself powerful and he said to write and and then people chuckled and he's like no i'm serious like you need to write and about meaningful things like this like it's a big reason why i think you kids are just becoming really powerful through this process of writing and speaking. You're becoming powerful. You're making your voice powerful. Um, Cause like, what is communication? It's like, if you take, if you don't have communication, you have nothing. You have no influence. You don't have any human connection. You have no ability to give, to really express love and appreciation for other people. You can't solve problems, you can't do anything, right? So that's why I think this is such an important topic. Why I'd be happy to help you to beef it up even more because I just think it's it's something that we need to share. Thar, um, what are you? Hey, Adi, you your might eye. not want to stretch your eyelid. Yeah, take care of your eyelids. <laughs> this is good. Yep. All right. Anybody else? I had a feedback sandwich. Um, so I I really liked how you included um, two different songs that you can listen to as like an example of what music can do. Um, the middle of my sandwich is just like, it's kind of the middle of a feedback sandwich. It's mostly just more ideas. Cause just cause I think the idea of like writing about different forms of communication is so interesting. And I thought it might be kind of interesting to add things like um, if you wanted to things like sign language and braille and stuff like that um but yeah i i just thought it was a really neat presentation and a really cool idea and i thought you did a good job with like the length of your presentation and keeping it engaging thanks yeah i hadn't thought of sign language but that is another and also like the unit like how some link some forms of communication communication might be more universal like music whereas like just talking if somebody doesn't speak the same language as you might not be but go ahead amanda <laughs> <laughs> oh we're echoing yeah you'll have to kind of like one person will have to mute their volume and their Cindy and, and they're and really they're good at yeah we're so much practice yeah i'll try that again 
Okay, there you go. Yeah. Coordinate it? Okay. <laughs> Um, so I just wanted to say that I thought it was awesome, first of all, and I just want more. <laughs> like, I just thought it was super fun. I really enjoyed the project. And I was like, oh, this is really cool. Like, I think music is an amazing topic anyway. But yeah, I just hope you do more because I thought it was really fun. Yeah, because the reason why I started this article in the first place is because I'm starting to create music in GarageBand. Um, for my um, song that I won't mention the name. Um, it's a bit silly, but um, yeah. And so I was just like thinking about like how natural music is for, oh, like Sumay said, it's universal. Um, there might be different kinds of music, um, but music in itself is universal. Whereas some types of communication, like um, writing in a certain language, may not be, and talking in a certain language may not be. Um, but music itself, it's very, very natural. Um, so yeah, that's so true. that's why I started it in the first place. Another uh, another one that comes to mind because we spent a lot of time talking about this because the nature of our learning community is highly virtual, and so there's we have to rely on so many different kinds of communication, right? Um, have to also creates opportunities because it, it, can, it can actually in some ways create better ways of communicating. Like I'm using emojis a lot, which is, I've tried to do that in in-person conversations using my- Visual phone. communication. But it's just weird. People just look at me like, I'm sorry, I do a lot of virtual, <laughs> sorry, good job, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, no, I, you know, I'm put, I'm putting out it. But like the, these emojis work for a reason. Like there are certain universal hand gestures that even animals will use to try to like. If you make yourself bigger, you're making yourself intimidating. You're saying, "Don't mess with me," right? And then if you if you're if you're holding out your hands, you're showing, "I come in peace. I don't have weapons." Right. So uh, giving eye contact, like looking at somebody with and, 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 and having a certain facial expression can show empathy and appreciation that somebody else is really important to you. Right. So those types of communication, um, I think, that, like, again, I just I just want to help. Like, I'd really like to be part of this without getting in the way. Sometimes when I get involved in a project, I like take over. Um, but I, I just think it's so important. And then also another thing to consider would be a diagram that would talk about the different kinds yes. of that's what I see. Yeah, that's yes, what I see. Yes, yes, yes. That's what Sumay said during the I have so many ideas, but I only started doing this on Tuesday on like Wednesday, I think. So I was just quickly jotting something down because I was like so excited that I was forgetting <laughs> really important things like that's the life logic yeah. math. I can't yeah. believe I forgot about math. I knew something was missing. It's okay. But. Okay. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> High five. It's easier to do a heart if you do it like this. Okay. This isn't really good. <laughs> All right.